Hey Cancer, welcome to your general love read. This is for December 14th through the 20th, however time is fluid. So whenever this comes to you, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you, okay? If it is meant for you, if you do enjoy it, if you, you know, come here and you're like, oh, that was, you know, totally not for me, but what a fun reader. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It is a beautiful way to give to the channel, okay? If you're new here, I will, I'm not going to take all of those, of course, sorry, spirit, but somebody might be resisting their twin, okay? I'll just put it right there. But um, if you are new here, what I will do is I will give you a card, okay, from the, for the collective, just in case the rest of this reading is not for you. And then um, I will go ahead and go through all of this foundation with you, okay? So for the collective, you get universe, all right? And these cards come from my personally channeled deck here, the Mindset Unicorn deck. Okay, universe. Universal energy surges through you today and leads you to new and brilliant spaces. My nature is divine. I am a spiritual being. Okay, so I do feel like you are seeing probably signs of ascension within yourself. Okay, you are seeing where you need to go. I feel like you are getting visions and synchronicities and um, you know where you're meant to take your next step. Okay, but it's just taking you a minute here. All right, the intention here, you are breaking free from something. You're breaking free. Um, for me, this card is always about, you know, doing what you're supposed to do, being a sheeple. Okay, with ascension comes this inner energy that comes out, but you've got to break free from all the sheeples before you can move on. All right. Overall energy here with the Queen of Wands. There could be uh, an energy of juggling, okay, within this. Or a very, you could be a very, very, like, heavy powerhouse hitter here. of um, A Queen of Wands where take no prisoners. I am, you know, powerful and I am coming for you. And if so... I feel like you are very much in your masculine, divine masculine power. Okay. So in the past, I feel like there was a huge tower moment. Okay. And it was because of whoever you were attached to that made you feel trapped. Okay. You may have found that there was a direction that you wanted to go and um, you were unable to do it. And it caused a huge awakening within you. Currently, okay, you're not moving away from things. Um, but there's a little bit of pain and kind of almost like I'm getting like a pouty energy still about this past. Okay, future energy comes out crossing. Okay, so it is going with the flow of things, okay, but it's like, how do you fly if you're going, like, you know, like against, I don't know, it's like against the waves they're kind of showing me, and like behind the swords, which is all about thoughts, dreams, and desires, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify. Um, I will go through two rounds of clarification here, okay, with two different decks. Okay. You have, I feel like, worked through a lot, all right? 
five of wands in reverse. There was a lot of inner childhood stuff that you have kind of put an end to right now. I feel like you're definitely going to keep going. Could be you, could be your person here. If this is your person working on themselves, okay, that makes you happy. Like, that makes you fulfilled. That makes you feel like you've done your part for them, okay, to see them working on themselves. Okay, in the past, this tower, I feel like you were in your head about someone here that was a divine connection, okay? Um, could have been a lot of unspoken love here, or it could have been blocked, okay, by this Two of Cups that was a very long-term connection, and you just couldn't manifest it, okay? You um, couldn't come into your power. You didn't feel um, like you had it within you. You may even have felt like you weren't attractive enough for this person, okay? Okay, current energy though. There's the lovers. This person is gonna come back around. Okay, while well, you're sulking and pouting and looking the other direction, their energy is coming forward. Okay, yep, King of Wands coming back around again. Okay, but you are looking in the wrong direction. You're looking up in the sky at all of this energy about why me? Why am I got such a broken heart, right? Okay, future energy here. Okay, happiness will come to you when you stop going with the flow and rise up into your own passions, okay, into your own energy, okay? That's when all the success, all the key components lay out, okay? King of Pentacles, that's when you get what you're going after here, all right? So let's clarify a little deeper here, shall we, Cancer? I do feel like there's a lot of holding back, okay? Yeah, okay, you know the possibilities of getting to this stable position. So you are holding back. You're kind of in your little cave, like working on yourself here, all right? This person, okay? They could be thinking, trying to sort through, you know, as they're working on themselves, what it is that you truly feel in this situation. And that makes you feel even happier. Okay? Like, you're like, I am so fulfilled because I am, you know, I'm this emperor in this person's connection. Like, I am the one. I am, like... They're telling me I am Gnostic, okay? If that means something to you in this uh, energy, then great, okay? This person isn't even seeing the fact that you are really becoming mega, like, abundant in all areas of your life. Yeah. You may have done a lot of wishing for this, but you couldn't manifest it here in the past, okay? Yeah, I feel like you didn't like what you saw in the mirror, okay? You didn't like who you were. You didn't like the choices that you were making, okay? And crossing energy was that you didn't feel ready, okay? I feel like to walk away from where you were and take this new start, and so therefore, even though there's a part of you that's like, oh, I'm manifesting this. No, that's not manifestation. <laughs> not for that. Okay. Definitely not for that. Yeah, you were in your head. Okay. Because there were a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Okay. And your ego was at play in all of this. Yeah. Okay. We do have here, all right, justice and the balance, 
okay? And the fact that I feel like everything that you're working for hung in the balance, okay? Which is why you were so much in your head. Okay, so you had to be inwardly and outwardly deceptive here, okay? Yeah, in truth, you want to take this to a higher level connection right now, all right? Yeah, how you want to offer love to this person, okay? But you are going to go about it a different way this time. Okay, this person doesn't see you coming because they're trying to make their own choice. I feel like, um, you know, they're trying, they're seeking out community. They're seeking out, um, you know, a try because without you, I feel like they've lost a lot. Yeah, all right. They don't think that there's going to be an opportunity to tell you how they feel. There's a lot of inward uh, bickering among themselves, okay? Okay, here's the thing. If you really want this to rise out of the ashes, you have to go after it, okay? But there's you're not making the right communications, okay? You're not going after your passions. <coughs> you're just going, like, with it. Why is this? Okay. You may not be tuning in to your higher self, or it could be, okay, that you feel like you're walking away from somebody that is very intuitive, and all of this inner happiness that you found, you do not want them to take it away from you. Yeah, as you're ending things. Okay, so you may keep things very secretive, 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 right? You may keep everything secret while you're going through this process. Mom of the deck here, okay, is that the throat chakra is what? Paused, silent. Okay, you know what you want, you know what's in your heart, um, but you are still entangled here, okay? Queen of Swords, you are still entangled and um, before you can move yourself in any direction, you're like, I need to finish this, all right? Okay, universe says, yeah, this is your divine counterpart. If you have just come to this reading only to get that clarification, yes, okay? It is your divine counterpart. Yes, you are being watched. You feel like you're being watched. It makes you feel like you're trapped. Um, it makes you feel like you're living a lie, okay? Fish out of water. And yet you know that that's what you have to do. Okay? You are walking away from it, but it is a process. Okay? You have emotionally detached, I feel like, a long time ago. All right? But you will get your justice. You will get what is meant for you. Okay? Let's get an oracle card here. Yeah, okay. I feel like you do have people coming in to help you, to support you, to guide you through this, to get you to the other side. Uh, is okay? We want one more. Oh, two more. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're going to achieve this. You just have to give yourself time. There are missing pieces of the puzzle here, okay? And it will all come together. Um, it's just a slow process, all right? So I hope that this helps you. I'm going to move into that extended over on Patreon and see what else Spirit wants to guide you on with this. Um, the link is down below if you want to join me, and I hope to see you there. All right. Bye.